Angel. Welcome to my channel. It is another day for another video. I am back with another current favorite video. Ang tagal ko na sa mga nung hiyahong gumawa ng video na yon. If you want to check out that video, ilalagay ko dito o di kaya sa my description box. Most of the items that I'll be sharing with you is skincare at makeup products. Simula nung nag-winter, nagbago na naman yung skincare routine ko and there are some products that I really enjoyed using. At dahil winter, hindi kami makagala. The only time na nakakalabas kami ay eh, kapag mag-grocery shopping. So, kakaunti lang yung makeup items na so, share ko sa inyo. But nonetheless, I hope that you will find this interesting Bago natin pag-usapan yung mga items na i-share ko sa inyo, I am going to invite you to be a part of this growing family. Subscribe! The red button is down below. Don't forget to send me some love by liking this video and i-follow nyo na rin ako sa social media accounts ko. This is my Twitter account and this is my Instagram account. So with that being said, let's continue. So I am going to start this video with skincare products that I've been loving. Simula natin dito. I think the Facia Price Water Bright Cleansing Oil. Dalawa yung variants nito. Merong rich and light. But this one is yung light na variant. I bought this nung Boxing Day pa. So siguro I've been using this for almost 2 months now. I guess you can tell how much I'm loving this product. Mga dalawang gamitan na lang. Ubus na. And this is my first time using a cleansing oil. If you've seen my previous current favorites video, shiner ko sa inyo yung cleansing balm from Hamish. And I really, really enjoyed using that. How However, ang problema ko lang doon ay eh, nahihirapan akong tanggalin yung balm sa eye area ko. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Maybe I'm using it wrong or I'm rinsing it wrong. Since naubos ko na yun, I decided na gumamit ng iba. And I've tried this one. Though I have dry skin, ang tinaray ko muna is yung light. Natakot kasi ako na baka pag ginamit ko yung rich na variant, baka sobrang greasy o di kaya oily o di kaya mahirap siyang anlawan. I use 2 to 3 pumps of this oil and then after nun, ilalagay ko siya sa dry na skin ko and then makikita mo talaga na natutunaw yung makeup. Kahit yung sunscreen at saka yung waterproof mascara, natutunaw nito. The best part, eh napakadali nitong anlawan. Hindi masak kahit sa mata, and um, after mo mag-unlaw, hindi siya greasy, hindi siya oily, meron din siyang subtle scent, pero siguro ang pinaka na-enjoy ko talaga, eh habang nag-aalis ka ng dumi at makeup sa mukha mo, eh parang napaka-luxurious yung dating na namamassage mo na rin <laughs> yung face mo hanggang sa leeg. So, nakalagay nga dito at the back na this is for oily and combination skin. So, kapag naubos ko na to, for sure, itatry ko yung rich na variant nila. And, aside sa nakakalis ng makeup, nakakatanggal ng impurities, eh, ang claim din nito ay nakakapagpa-brighten ng face. So, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this one. <gasps> Next is another cleanser. Nagdo-double cleanse kasi ako. And I've discovered this one. So this is from Fresh. Ito yung kanilang Soy Face Cleanser. It says here that it is for all skin type, rich in amino acids, gently cleanses face and eyes. Buti na lang nakakuha ko ng sample nito from Sephora because I've been dying to try this one out. Since nagda-double cleanse ako, I used oil and then itong um, facial cleanser na to, I cannot vouch how effective this is in removing your makeup but I can guarantee you that it is very gentle. It smells like cucumber and it doesn't lather that much. Siguro sa iba, gusto nila yung talagang bumubula yung facial cleanser nila. But for me, it's just okay kasi madali lang rin siyang anlawan. After a week na ginamit ko to, nakita ko talaga at naramdaman ko talaga na ang lambot and ang smooth na ng face ko, it really improves yung texture ng skin ko. Siguro ang pinaka-downside lang talaga eh, this is expensive. Actually, meron pang mas malaking size dito, pero etong malit lang yung binili ko dahil I cannot afford yung malaking size. But I am loving this. Next, after cleanser, punta naman tayo sa exfoliator. This is from Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. It says here that it helps refine the appearance of pores. Deep cleans pores. Helps smooth the appearance of skin texture. Nakuha ko to from BoxyCharm and ginagamit ko to twice a week. Specifically, every Tuesday and Saturday. Right after cleansing my face, ginagamit ko to. So, habang pasa pa yung mukha ko, I will scrub this gently and slowly into my face. 
especially sa nose ko and sa baba ko, nung nag-winter, napansin ko na dumadami yung blackheads ko. Siguro dahil hindi ako pinagpapawisan and panay ang kain ko ng fast food. So, talagang lumilitaw na yung blackheads and whiteheads ko. So, imbis na manually kinukot-kot ko yung ilong ko, which is, hindi ko talaga mapigilan. Ito na lang ginagamit ko. In small circular motion, isa-scrub ko siya sa nose ko, and then sa baba ko, and then all throughout my whole face for a whole minute. I will just leave it for a minute or two bago ko siya anlawan. And then right after nun, mafe-feel mo talaga na um, ang lambot and ang kinis ng face mo. Though visible pa rin yung pores ko, pero napansin ko na nag-minimize yung pores ko and nakakatagal talaga siya ng blackheads and whiteheads. Overall, nag-improve talaga yung texture ng skin ko. But the only downside, again, is this is expensive. Moving on, I got this one. This is from Muji. Ito yung kanilang moisturizing milk for sensitive skin. This is the newest addition to my skincare. Siguro I've been using this for more than a month now. And ginagamit ko to in the morning and at night. Right after ng toner, ito yung nilalagay ko sa mukha ko. I feel like I really need um, an additional layer of moisture dahil nga sobrang lamig and sobrang dry ng skin ko. So this is for sensitive skin. It doesn't have any paraben. It is alcohol free. It has no fragrance, no artificial colors, no mineral oils. So moisture lang talaga ang ibibigay niya sa'yo. Ito yung tura niyo. It has that milky consistency. And as you can see, hindi siya ganun kadaling ma-absorb sa mukha mo. It needs time bago tuluyang ma-absorb sa skin mo. But right after that, hindi siya oily, hindi siya greasy. It will give you that parang plump and natural glow. Which is what I really, really need. Ayun yung tura niyo. So, ang ginagawa ko talaga eh, I pat it on my face. And then after nyan, nagma-imina-massage ko rin siya sa face ko. This is the travel size. 50ml. Perfect. If you wanna try this one out first. Para hindi agad kayo bibili nung malaki. And then, ang ending, hindi nyo pala magustuhan, no? So, perfect na meron siyang maliit na size. Next is this one. This is not a lipstick. This is a lip exfoliator. Nakatok sa website ng Elf na meron silang ibat ibang variants, but I got one in brown sugar and yes, lip exfoliator siya. Para siyang lipstick ano? And I think that's one of the reasons why I really enjoyed using this. Hindi siya yung typical na lip scrub na nasa jar na mag scoop ka and then scrub mo siya sa face mo, which ang ending minsan ay makalat. And then, mahirap ang lawan. But this one, it is in a lipstick. This is in a lipstick form. Nakatub siya. Hindi siya mahirap gamitin. Hindi siya messy. As in, ganyan lang. Para ka lang rin nagli-lipstick. But, in a scrubbing motion. It really exfoliated my lips. But at the same time, it is gentle. It has uh, vitamin E, shea butter, avocado, grapes, and jojoba oil which nourishes and moisturizes my lips. After ko tong gamitin, you can rinse it with a cotton pad but in my case, I use water then after, I use a lip balm. Siguro the only problem that I have with this is eh, nagda dry siya. So what I do is I just scrape the top and then after na, ayun na, makakapag scrub na ulit ako. So that is the end of the skincare items. Let's now move on dun sa makeup. Again, hindi ako masyado nakakagamit ng makeup kasi I only stay at home. But nonetheless, whenever I go out and I need a color onto my face, I use this. These are from Glossier. I think kanilang cloud paint seamless cheek color. I got one in dusk. And then puff. Matagal ko lang nabili to, pero ngayon ko lang siya ginagamit. If you want that natural looking flush, this is really perfect dahil this is sheer. But at the same time, it is buildable. So, maa-adjust mo pa rin yung intensity or opacity ng color ng blush na gusto mo. This also has collagen. It will give you that hydrated, plumped looking skin. Kapag ginagamit ko to, it lasts me siguro mga 3 to 4 hours. Which is okay for me dahil hindi rin naman ako nagtatagal sa labas. Nang matagal? Yeah. 
I hope that makes sense. But yes, I really, really enjoy using this. Next, I'll be sharing with you these two lip tint. Simulan ko dito. This is from the Body Shop. Ito yung lip and cheek stain. I got one in the shade Deep Berry. I also have a Body Shop haul video. Lalagay ko rin yung link sa my description box if you are curious what are the other items that I got from the Body Shop. But anyway, the color of this lip tint is really, really pretty. I haven't tried this on my cheeks yet. Sa lips ko lang talaga siya ginagamit. And this is how it looks like. Ito yung color niya. Super pretty, you know? Ang lip tint naman talaga nakaka-dry ng lips. But for me, this one does not dry my lips that much. I really enjoy using their products. And I really like their company as a whole. Because they are against animal testing. And their ingredients are all naturally sourced. Which is really amazing. So, ito yung next na lip tint. I got this from my Yes Style haul. Ilalagay ko rin ang link sa my description box. This is yung Dear Darling Water Gel Tint. I got the shade Apricot. Scrub Apricot Red. Ito yung itsura niya. So this one is sheer but still buildable. It is smooth to apply. Hindi rin ganun nagda-dry yung lips ko kapag ginagamit ko to. And yes, really, really loving it. And the last item is this one. This is from the Body Shop. This is Mango Softening Body Butter. Ito yung kanilang 24-hour intense moisture for dry skin with mango seed oil from India. And this is how it looks like. Dun sa last na um, current favorites video ko, I mentioned about yung argan oil na body butter. But this one, ito mango has a different texture compared to that one. Ito mas soft yung mismong lotion eh. Dun parang medyo matigas ang itsura niya. It has a silky soft texture, kaya madali siyang i-apply sa katawan and then mabilis siyang ma-absorb ng skin mo. Kung makikita ninyo, oh, it has that dewy, glowy, paano ko ba siya may explain moisturized skin, but hindi siya greasy. Oh. See, it's not tacky, it's not oily, ang lambot-lambot ng skin mo. And, ang bango-bango. Amoy na amoy mo talaga yung mango seed oil. Even the next day, you can still smell the hint of mango seed oil. And I really, really like it. I guess this is already a proof of how much I really enjoyed using this. If nagustuhan nyo yung argan oil na body butter, for sure, mas magugustahan nyo to. So these are the things that I've been loving for the past few months. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that this video was helpful and informative and if you want to see my previous video just click here and if you want to subscribe to my channel just click here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in my next one bye